So let us check if you got the correct answer. So for our step number one, formulate our hypothesis. So we have here null hypothesis or H sub O is equal to 35. And then since based on our problem, there is a hint word which is greater. So we'll be using the greater than sign for our alternative hypothesis. Next, step number two. Specify the level of significance and then up until our critical values. So the level of significance, is it stated? Okay, so it is not stated. So again, kagaya nung sabi ko sa Z-test, kapag po hindi stated automatically, the level of significance to be used is 0.05. Now, our alternative Hypothesis earlier is greater than, so of course, this is one-tailed test, specifically right-tailed. And since our sample size is only 20, so the test statistics is t-test. Now, the degree of freedom we have here n minus 1, so that would be 20 minus 1 equals 19. Now, getting our t-table, so our degree of freedom is 19, and then our... Tail test is one tailed and level of significance is 0.05. So here is our critical value. So 1.729. So this is right tailed. So basically this is positive 1.729. Next, step number three. Compute the appropriate test statistics. So this is again our formula. Now, let us identify the values. So, we have here the average length of time for people to vote. So, we have here 35 minutes. And then, we have here our sample size, which is 20. And then, we have our um, sample mean. So, we have here 30 and then the standard deviation, which is 15. Now, let us substitute the values on our formula. So, we have here 30 minus 35, square root of 20 over 15. So, you can calculate it using your calculators. And let us check if you got the correct answer. So, we have here our T value or the test statistic, which is test statistics, which is equal to negative 1.49. Now, let us graph and make a decision. So here is our graph. Again, our critical value is positive 1.729. So it is on the right side of our curve. So it is somewhere here. And then, of course, this is our critical result. Now, what is our computed T value? That is equal to negative 1.49. So it is on the left side of our bell curve. So that would be our t computed or t is equal to negative 1.49. Now we'll make a decision. So uh, obviously it is not on the critical region. So what will be our decision? We will be accepting our null hypothesis and reject our alternative hypothesis. And then lastly, we'll be making our step number five, which is stating our conclusion. So for this one, since there are no questions, we just have to test the hypothesis based on our problem. So therefore, there is no significant difference between the average time for people to vote using the old procedure using the presidential election period in election precinct A. So basically, the answer was based on the problem itself it, because we are talking about the average length of time for people to vote. Okay, so that would be all for the discussion. I'll be discussing our activity or our worksheet problem set for this lesson.